at the villa now for the weekend. Um, we had the last two days out on the boat and it was absolutely glorious. I mean, I really love Mallorca in June just because it's like the high 20s, low 30s. And I just know I'm gonna get all the vitamin D that I need. I can wear a really nice high sun factor and still get a suntan. And it's just oh, blissful. And I really love being at the villa because it's, I've got everything I need here. I've got my food, I've got my drink, I've got access to the toilet, I've got my book, I've got like electricity to recharge my phone and things like that. And then if I get too hot, I can go and cool down. It's just, Absolute bliss. Oh, on the other end, David cannot sit still, it's so funny. He comes here to tidy and clean and things like that, I'm not really sure if he knows how to relax. <laughs> I wish he did, because he makes me feel lazy. <laughs> I'm just sort of laying here. Um, I finished my book, I was gutted actually at the airport. Uh, all the shops were closed, like every single shop was closed and I got there just after 9pm at Gatwick. And I wanted to go to W. H. Smith and buy some books, um, but they were shut. So I only had the book that I was already reading, The Duchess, um, with me, which I'd already decided I was halfway through. So I only had that to bring, so I've just finished that. So today I'm just um, watching YouTube videos to keep myself uh, entertained while I sunbathe. So yeah, it's a shame. Oh, look. So we're just about to go out on a jet ski. David is gonna take the paddleboard over to the um, port and then we're going to go out around the little islands that surround the villa because we're literally right on the seafront um, so yeah we're just going to go and check those out and just have a little bit of a nibble while we're there sort of thing um, it's really really nice it just breaks up the day a bit from just continual sunbathing <laughs> a little bit of coastline sightseeing if you will Coming upstairs to show you the view that I have from my bed in the morning. This is why I love coming here so much. I mean, there's other reasons, of course, but this is a big one of them. Where you can access the sea, literally just there. That's, there's like a little gate that goes straight down. It's like moon rock. It's orange and has been like eaten away by the salt water. But you can get straight in the sea. And there's all the jet skiers. And out to sea there, there's loads of little windsurfers, sort of windsurf training school. So it's quite an active view, which is incredible because some views you have that are sea view, it's literally just ocean and there's nothing going on. But because we're near a port, we've got a lot of activity, so it's a really good view. You can actually sit and like people watch, and it's just, it's great. And you see lots of like huge ships going in and out as well. So it's just wonderful all around. And this is my bikini choice for the day. It's a Calzedonia. I like these ones because you can just like get rid of the straps and then you don't get any strap marks while you're sunbathing. <laughs> Look at these like, in my little creases, the white bits. <laughs> But yeah, it's cute. I'm going to get some more of these Calzedonia bikinis this year because they're actually just really comfortable and they've got lots of different, like I've got another top that matches this and I've also got a skirt that matches this. It's like a sparkly turquoise sort of colour. It's really, really nice. And they've always got loads of different sort of mix and match bikini options. So I really like that. So yeah, this is cute. It's got like these little frilly parts. So pretty sweet. So I'm now ready to go jet skiing and I always wear my life vest because after I had COVID and I think the first time around in January of 2020, I've not been as strong a swimmer. And the reason is my breathing has just been absolutely diabolical since then. Like I feel like I've got COPD or something, but I don't smoke and I haven't smoked since I was 20. I quit smoking um, after university. Um, yeah, so now I wear a life jacket in case I fall off or something and I just like freak out or whatever because one time, shortly after um, COVID was starting, we were actually here, we was out at sea and we went swimming off of the rib into like a little cave. And by the time I got there, I was absolutely exhausted 
And I said to Dave, I was like, I need to get out. And this was the first time I'd swam in open water since having what I, I think was COVID very early on, but there was no tests available. Um, and I literally, I got back to the jet, jet rib. I think it might have even been the jet ski. And I was exhausted. I actually it was the closest I think I've come to feeling like I was going to die. And I had this on and I was just floating in the water waiting to get my breath back so I could um, swim and breathe. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wear this. I'm just heading down now to get on the jet ski and that's David bringing me now. Fishing in the sea. All the fish. They're not even bothered. He's an absolute water baby. Absolutely invigorating. I'm absolutely knackered now though. Oh, it's a hard workout a bit as well because when you're on the back of a jet ski, you've got to like grip the seat with your legs because you don't have anything solid to hold on to. So you're going over the waves and it's like. <laughs> so I am now absolutely exhausted. And then at the end, I jump off and have to swim through the, um, the sea bit, which is a little bit unnerving just because the waves are like smashing on the rocks quite hard. Like they don't look that much when you look down, but when you're in it, they're like going over your head and stuff. And that's a little bit um, anxiety inducing as well. Oh, I'm shivering now. But it's funny because um, you get used to the cold of the water. And then when I come back up, I jump in the pool because we've got a chlorine pool here, but it's not heated. And when you jump in that, it's really hot compared to how you feel. So that's always a nice thing. But now I am uh, oh, shivering. I'm starting to go blue, I think, on the lips. I'm going to go and have a lovely, lush bubble bath in my big bathtub that has the view straight out to sea. Can't wait to get in this. This is a lovely, lush snow fairy bubble bath. I bought the giant, I don't even know if they still do them, but the XL bubble bath. Uh, I think it was last year. I don't think it was the year before because I've got just so much of it left. Um, but I've still got absolutely, I'd say about two thirds of it still I still have here because obviously we don't come here all the time. But uh, this is the view from the bath. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the view I have every morning. Oh, it's such a treat, honestly. I feel absolutely invigorated, but I'm really, really, really looking forward to just relaxing in this bath and feeling lovely and hot. Because, uh, oh. I think the bath's going to be nice and soothing on my muscles as well, my hips, my bottom. <laughs> Afternoon, my lovely. So I have got the beautiful, I love this, mint choc chip frostini frappe thingy from Costa Coffee. Mm. Mint choc chip milkshake, essentially. It's really, really lovely. So today's vlog is a recap of our holiday. We went away and just got back. So I've got all like chocolate chips in my mouth now. And then today is Monday. And we got back yesterday really late. And today I've just been all over the place. I've got so much to do, but no organisation because you've only just landed, so I'm out of practice. Didn't have my diary with me while I was abroad either. So I'm just like, oh God, 
we are going to Ascot tomorrow. So I wanted to do a little bit of Ascot prep for you so that if you're going later in the week, this post hopefully will be going up on Wednesday. So if you're going to Ascot yourselves on Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, um, and you want a little bit of information, you're probably way in advance to be because we decided to go last minute. <laughs> so we're going to the Queen's Enclosure um, and we haven't got any upgrades at the moment. I emailed them to see if they've got any upgrades available or still left this morning. Just like a bench or a little table and chairs, that sort of thing. So we'll see if they get back to me about that. Um, if they do, then we'll take that. But otherwise it's a picnic blanket time. And I just got this one from Sainsbury's. A little Habitat, a little wicker one. It's 14 pounds. We have got another one as well, like a big um, tartan one, which I'm not sure, excuse me, exactly where it is. And then we've got another one as well. We've got two already, but I can only find one. And there's a group of nine of us going tomorrow. So I've got an extra one just in case some of the others don't have a picnic blanket to sitting on. Plus this one, it's more my aesthetic than the other two. So this would be my picnic blanket. So yeah, got to go over to work later today to collect parcels for prep for tomorrow. Also, I should hopefully cross your fingers for me as well because I've got a dress that's been sent from Hope and Ivy to hopefully wear tomorrow as well. Um, that we, we only decided Thursday last week that we were going. So I messaged Hope and Ivy about doing another collab and they said yes, they'd like to. And then I thought, well, actually I'm going to Royal Ascot next week. So if you can get a dress to me really, really quickly, I'll wear that um, and include it in the vlog. And they said, well, they can only try. So that's what they've done. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they posted it out first thing Friday. Hopefully it's actually at work, but Royal Mail lately have been absolutely diabolical. So oh, we don't know. But I do have something alternative to wear, if not, and I could wear the other Hope and Ivy dress that I got, to be honest with you. It's just a little bit longer than I had wanted. I'd rather have like just below the knee dress for Ascot, just because of the weather's gonna be quite warm. And the other one is more um, just above the ankle. So, fingers crossed, it's there. Good morning, my lovelies. So today is Royal Ascot day. So I'm just running myself a bath. I'm gonna go make my coffee. And then I'm going to start the day. It is 6.40. I did actually wake up 20 minutes ago, but I've been sort of prootling about a little. Um, yeah, so I'm going to quickly, as quick as I can, get this <laughs> and this turned into something quite respectable looking, hopefully. So we'll see. Yeah, I am. Um, I've got a dress. I've got some fascinators. I've got some shoes. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to wear, but I'll um, I'll film it all for you anyway to include it in this vlog, and then you can let me know what you think of my outfit. So I just finished getting ready. I think I've got to check that I've got everything. I might just give my teeth another brush because I had a coffee earlier. So um, yeah, so I've put my hair in a plait and swirled it round and then pinned it to the side, and then I've got my little like hatinator on. I did some quite simple eyeshadow with some eyeliner, little small fake lashes. Cause I'm, it's like a lady, I'm not going over the top glam, this is like pretty glam. And then I've got on the Hope and Ivy dress that they sent me a few weeks ago because unfortunately, the new one that they sent me is too small, ever so slightly, um, to be the fact that it would be uncomfortable during the day. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna wear this one because it's a similar colorway. I already had the accessories for it. I bought some new shoes, these ones from June. June is sort of my go-to everyday shoe. I could wear my Louboutins and all that stuff, but they're a really high heel, whereas these are a nice sort of comfortable kitty heel. I'm probably gonna take the Vivias as well and actually put them in the car for on the way home in case my feet get sore because they actually go with this outfit as well. The ones with the bow on the front cute ones so it's really really cute I will get um, Amy's just coming down the drive so I'll get her to do a little video so you can see my whole outfit because this room is like a bomb has hit it now so I'm not doing any like far away shots because it's a mess my young Amy Hello. I think we look incredible <laughs> 
Oh, oh, I love the red lip. That's a nice, nice colour. That's really so nice. My little hatinator. I wanted to find one that was like a hat, so I got one, so I'm happy about that. I'm excited for today. I'm really excited. Oh, oh. Chucking some pins. I know. I've never been to Ascot before, so. Oh, yes, I forget. So I'll have to show you everything. That's one good thing. Yep. Same. And then bring it round towards me a bit. Yeah, that's it. Can't be on me. Actually, stay like that. If you come on this side, oh, then I'll be able to see you. Yeah. Yeah, that puts it over your head again. Thanks. No problem. parade enclosure. This will be where Royal Ascot kicks off. The Royal Family will come down the straight mile, tuck in under here and they'll come round this parade at around just before two o'clock, just before the first race. So we're looking forward to that. The girls with me have not been before, have you? None no, of you have been, been before. I'm so excited. So I'm like your guide today. So we'll have a look. We'll see, get to see all the... Um, I'm not sure who's actually going to be here. It might be Prince William, Kate, and the Queen might be in attendance. Hopefully yeah. she is, and then Charles and Camilla. But we'll see. It's all about the hats.
next up, these two.
Hello, my lovely. Hi, Bob. Hi, my twins. We have dress twins. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I think the same. Beautiful. Yeah. It's priced at twenty-five to one. So we just saw the royal procession through the parade, and then we're just ten minutes off from the first race. And had quite a lovely afternoon so far. I'm just going to the toilet. I need to powder. Not powder. Um, Lovely hats, really beautiful outfits. I found my dress twin, filming really fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll record some more of the day for you. And then, hopefully, we'll win some money. <laughs> Show us your tickets. 
Who comes second? Trevor should take it. Well, we've got, we've got two. YouTube. One. Do you buy a few? Seconds. Two. And what was that one? So two of our friends put down £200 each way on the Dubai Futures horse and it won. Um, so they're both about to collect £4,000 odd pounds each, I believe. <laughs> Incredible. Solid prices too. First, number two, Dubai Futures, 20 to 1. Second horse to 1, Cadillac went off the 11 to 2 favourite. Third horse, number eight, Arabian, 14 to 1. Our runners were at number. And three. Amy won as well, she bet on it. £100. <laughs> Flash the cash, babe. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> they both won four grand. <laughs> I know. Sorry, what? winner this time is the boy in the future. And Danny's a little. Right, let's just square. Well done, mate. Thank you. I think Joe got two lots. Big winner. Oh, and the same guy I have, again. I have the, I have the same problem all day carrying money. Which of us goes? I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Same guy. Thank you. What a lovely day. It's been so nice. It's so nice. All finished now. Now we've got to go and fight our way out of traffic. All the way home, it's about an hour's drive. Whew. We've got to find our friends. The uh, reception for the phone isn't that great here. <laughs> so it's like trying to phone pe find people that, oh, Christ, it's okay, it's um, Find people that are missing, so. Oh, I think there's someone there. So we're back home now after a long but incredibly lovely day at Royal Ascot. Um, some of our friends did win big um, as shown in the video. I think overall they won about £10,000 which is really 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 cool. Um, I had a little win but we was, I was only betting um, £5 each way. I'm not really a gambler to be honest with you. I can't, I can't gamble like that. It gives me anxiety. Um, so I'm just like a, I'll play along for a bit of fun. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so I had a little, I think it was £38, something like that win. Um, yes, so that was fun. I'm now back home, changed into something comfortable. I'm really tired. I've been up since 20 past six this morning. I'm going to take my makeup off, take my earrings out. I have got my Ugg slippers on already. My feet are sore. Um, and then I'm going to start a new vlog after I finish off this one and just a little bit of a mess over there because that is all the PR um, that I picked up from work yesterday and a few parcels as well. Um, so I'm just going to open all that on like a PR unboxing vlog section in the next video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed coming on holiday with us a little bit and enjoyed coming to Ascot with us as well. Hopefully I've been able to make it feel like you've come along with us a little bit. I tried to film as much of the action as I could to get you sort of in the mix rather than you just sort of watching me be at Ascot. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye.